Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another reading vlog. It is currently quarter past midnight on Monday the 12th of February. I'm currently reading uh, The Emerald Wand of Oz by Sherwood Smith, uh, which is I. It's one of the new takes on Oz. Um, and yeah, we are off to Paris in about 18 hours or something. So uh, at the moment, trying to get ready as much as possible. I have a call at noon as well, which I really don't want to do. But yes, uh, and I will go and get into bed in a bit. Shay is here as well, so I'm sure we'll go and have some cuddles. Peace. Dane reads. Oh, I thought you were Huh? I thought you were getting me a I was, but I found this. I don't know what you're doing, but. <laughs> okay, to the tower. <laughs> There's Luke. Only about <laughs> 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 Mira, tiene una cosa japonesa. Tiene una cosa japonesa. Where are we going, Shay? Uh, Catacombs. Catacombs. Haha, I made you jump. We didn't know it was too much to pass out. Sometimes I Oh, it does, doesn't it? Set on the reef, I think. Getting a little bit of video of you as well. No, we might not have reached it yet. Oh, that is it. You can see it. Oh, what well, this? Yeah, it just faded into it. The water. This way. Excuse me. Or did they cut them down here? I don't know. <laughs> You're invited to not touch anything and to not smoke in the ossery. That's what it says. Yeah. You're invited to. Yeah. This is a small view, 20 meters long. So these signs tell you where they came from. So that says, and so everything passes beneath the earth, hope, beauty, grace, talent, all is a flower, an ephemeral flower. Am I allowed to touch this thing?
Well, I guess you'd have at least eight bones like that per skull. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you're saying is you're haunted by the bones. I didn't say haunted. Yeah. Daddy want a bone. Sorry, that's very disrespectful. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to. Here she comes. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it was on. They just put like dead bodies down. No. Well. I thought it was just fake. I didn't know that either. You alright, Shay? Hello. Yeah, I got big eggs. Shay, where we at? Oh, I like your hat. Where'd you get that? From the catacombs. Proud catacombs. The catacombs. And, and my jumper too. Yeah, that's a nice cone head you've got going. It's not a cone head. Isn't it? Where are we at? We're at the Louvre. Where's... You can see mm. the thing behind me. We can. Okay, so when you need the toilet here, Shay, do you know what you got to say? What? I need the Louvre. What? He looked more like a philosopher, didn't he? <laughs> Why is he so big? Oh, I've... Yeah, even though these are all Roman, but I think they took it from the Greeks. What did they mean at me? Nike. Yeah, very cool. Looks like a handstand. Hey, you just remember looking for my Venice once here? Uh-huh. This is it, really? It is. Fresco's of Botticelli. Oh, wow, wow. That's the roof. Yeah. This is going to sound weird, but that's my kind of art. I like the colours. Giotto di Bondone, the crucifixion, about 1330. Onwards. Oh, there's uh, Botticelli, his self portrait. Get rid of my boyfriend. I'm crucifying you. Yeah. But well, I got that on camera, so it's proof. <laughs> She's gonna crucify me. You heard it here first. Yeah. No way. <laughs> but what people? Salome reaching. Well, Salome. Salome receiving the head of Saint John the Baptist. Cats be doing cat things since antiquity. Yeah. Psyche revived by Cupid's kiss. Hey Shay. You don't have to worry about her because she's not going to hurt you. She's harmless. Hey Shay. I made a grave mistake bringing you here. Mm. Is she gonna bury me for that joke? It does feel like I'm walking down the street for the house. Yeah. <coughs> Pennywise, are you down there? Well, flow too. If this is always closed off, how do people still throw up flowers on them? It never used to be closed off. Oh. But people used to like chip bits off the grave and stuff. Oh. Just saying. Mm, no, 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 no. I was just saying that's what I was doing. Nothing is better than your pornography, Shay Fiam. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite special, my ass. Sorry, guys. Dessert. Oh. I'm for dessert. Right, let's go. 
This looks so good. I can smell my cookie. You're attaching it. Okay. How do I do it? Unlock it. Look how cute. To the sun. So that was on camera. Oh, hello and greetings. It is I. It is quarter past 10 on Friday the 16th of February 2024. I am back from Gay Paddy. Uh, how was Paris, Shay? It was really nice. She said, I, I don't know if you could hear that. She said it's really nice. She's currently um, healing up because she's not very well. So she's lying in our bed being sick and stuff but I'm taking care of her so it's all good um, I don't have any books to update you on I read a bit more of the Emerald Wand of Oz I'm still not quite at the end I actually bought a bunch of books that I need to film a haul for so that will be coming soon um, but yes it was you know it was it was a lovely old trip I uh, kept a journal while I was there so I'll link to the journal below rather than uh, recapping it all in this video but you would have seen some footage as well which should give you a taste for how uh, how it was um, yeah, we are now back. I went to the gym earlier and picked up some supplies for Shay while I was at it. It's park run tomorrow. I haven't decided where I'm going to go yet. Um, I was saying Maidenhead, but now I'm thinking maybe Slough. We'll see. I don't really know what the plan is and when I'm going to sleep. Because if I do sleep, but sleep late, then I probably won't wake up in time to go. I don't know. We will see. Um... Yeah, other than that, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been doing some work, been doing tidying and unpacking slowly but surely, sort of making a bit of progress. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and do some uh, uh, filming and editing now, uh, just to catch up on that. And I've been catching up on work as well. And my YouTubes, it's all the usual stuff. And the cats missed us, but they're okay and they're, you know, happy enough that we're back, I suppose. Hello everybody, it is uh, Saturday 15.18, so what, 20 past 3 on Saturday the 17th of February 2024. She's still not very well, she is snoozing over in the bedroom. I had an interview last night with Angela Hart of uh, Books on My Heart here on Booktube, so she's going to be appearing on the radio show, which is super exciting. Um, I got like two and a half hours sleep last night, so not too great, um, but I did make my little pilgrimage to Slough, so I got the bus to Slough and um, made my way to Upton Park for Upton, no, Upton Court Park for Upton Court Park Run, and I got a time of 27 minutes, 6 seconds, which is a new personal best for me. Um, I broke 30 minutes at the end of last year, so it's great that, you know, in six weeks seven weeks or whatever I've, I've managed to knock another three minutes off and my goal for this year is to get sub 25 so um that's looking pretty good um i guess next up i mean there's another park park run saturday next weekend i don't know where i'm going to go for that i might do maidenhead 
uh, and then on the Sunday I have a 10k the winter run in London so all very exciting um, I finished reading The Emerald City of Oz by Sherwood Smith it was probably a 4 out of 5 I enjoyed it I liked the way that she kind of re uh, reinvigorated the Oz series you know um, and then I also read uh, Wish You Were Dead by Peter James so this is just one of the quick reads probably like a 3.5 out of 5 it's pretty weak it's, it's basically a novella featuring Roy Grace which is his detective and it's just designed to get people into reading uh, it wasn't the best writing and it, again it was just a sort of a short thing really but um, it was alright I suppose definitely worth reading if you are a um, Roy Grace fan and so I'm now just starting The Big Son of Mercury which is the fourth David Star Space Ranger novel or novella novel I don't know by uh, Isaac Asimov so I'll be getting to that soon I have also just started listening to the audiobook of uh, Great Expectations by uh, Charles Dickens so yes um, it's off to a good start I'm only on the um, the second chapter so far though but yes that's where, where I'm at it's a classic DC healthy-ish vegan dinner we've got the roasted sweet potatoes uh, lemon breaded vegan chicken and crispy kale. Oh no, Shay's awake. I don't know how much of my previous attempt at filming actually filmed um, because my memory card just failed. So I'll start again. It is five past three on the morning of Tuesday, the 20th of uh, February. I don't feel so great. I think I'm coming down with the thing that Shay had. At the moment, I've just got like a very sore throat and a bit of a cough. Um, where she's been kind of bed bound. She's actually been diagnosed with a chest infection and has been put on antibiotics. I'm just hoping that I heal up soon because I'm supposed to be running this 10k run on um, Sunday. So, I mean, I guess I'll give it till fr uh, Saturday at park run and I'll do a park run and see how I manage with the 5k. And if if I can do that and I'm well enough to do that, I can give the 10k a go, I reckon. Um, let's see. I don't know when I last updated you so well anyway when I was at the gym I finished reading well I started and finished reading The Big Son of Mercury by Isaac Asimov which was probably a four out of five it's one of the lucky star novels um, but yeah it's perfect length I, I mean I read it from start to finish in an hour basically he's on Mercury and he's been sent there to investigate some shenanigans um, and he doesn't know who to trust so yeah a full review of that will be coming soon and I've just started reading um, the next Angela Saini book, I can't remember what it is. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick update here. I'm probably go, gonna go back to bed in a minute, try and sleep some more. Well, hello everybody. Still not the 100% well and all of that. It is, um, oh yeah, it's midnight on, hello. Uh, it's midnight going into Wednesday, the 21st of February, 2024. Um, I have been taking my medicines and various things. Uh, slept reasonably well. I kind of seem to have these, like, peaks and troughs so I'll be doing okay and then I'll be doing badly and then I'll be doing okay and then doing badly um, but I was well enough I went to the gym earlier and did an hour on the exercise bike um, basically because I needed a shower and my boiler doesn't work so at the moment the only way I can shower is to go to the gym and it feels weird to go to the gym and just shower and then leave I'm like if I'm gonna go I've got to do a workout so yeah I did an hour on the exercise bike I read a bunch of uh, Superior The Return of Race Science by Angela Saini which is pretty good so far review of this coming soon and um, yeah that's where we're at I hope I'll be well enough to do this run on Sunday I think I'll be okay I don't know I've looked it up and like if it is the flu it lasts like five to seven days and Sunday will be day seven so I think I'll just about be okay to do it but we will see Howdy doodly do folksters, just a quick update for you, it is currently quarter past four in the morning of Thursday the 22nd of February, yes my sleep is kerfuffled. I tried to go to bed at about like, what, 3-4pm last night but it just didn't really happen for me, it was probably gone noon by the time I actually fell asleep so that was a pain. I woke up this evening, uh, I went to go to the gym but all the exercise bikes were taken so I went for a run instead even though I'm trying to take it easy and not do too much running ahead of this weekend. I've also signed up to two more events because you know what I'm like. One of them is actually, well, they both sound good. One is just an 11K, which will push me slightly further than the 10K that I'll be running. 
um, and take me a little bit further towards doing a half marathon I suppose. The other one is a, a Gurkha themed one uh, and you run with either 5, 10 or 15 kilograms of weight on your back so I'm doing it with 15 kilograms of weight which is a lot but also it's about the amount of weight that I have lost since I started. Um, so if I was able to run a 5k with that weight as part of my body hopefully I can run it with that weight on my back you know. Um, I haven't read any more because I did, I, did, I did a night run instead, um, which I, I documented. And yes, uh, the other thing is you might notice in the background I've been painting all my frames so that they all match because they were all different colours. So now we've got like red frames along the bottom and then my frames that go up along there, along the top on the red paint, those are going to be white. So that is what I'm doing and I'm just going to um, watch a bit more of the Let's Play I've been watching of Heroes of Might and Magic 3, which is a cracking game, and uh, do a bit of editing. Hello everybody, I've already done a little bit of filming, but I just went to Marlow, which is a nearby one, both of them cancelled due to bad weather, so I'm thinking about going to the Oxford Park Run, um, which would need me to leave here at about 7, and as I say, it's now 4, um, so I'm just cracking on with a few bits and bobs until then, I might actually get into bed in a minute and um, watch some documentaries without sleeping though, um, but yeah, that's where I'm at, I'm feeling a little bit better, I have, tomorrow I have my um, 10k in London as well, so that's another reason why I think it's a good idea to try and stay up, go to park run, come back, go to sleep at about 6pm or something and then I should be nice and fresh for tomorrow. So that's the plan. I don't really have much more to update you on. I'll probably keep this vlog going until the end of the week, so there's that. Hello everybody, it is currently 20 past 8 on, uh, what is it, Monday the 26th of February. I did the Cancer Research 10K on Saturday, uh, it was pretty good. My official time was one hour and eight seconds or one hour and nine seconds, something like that. Um, but according to Strava, I actually did, in 59 minutes, 50 seconds, I did 10.4 kilometers. So, um, yeah, bit of a weird one. But yeah, I, I did uh, enjoy it. I've got my medal and all of that stuff. So I'm now looking forward to my next run is in Hyde Park. Uh, which is going to be the run 11 um, so I'm looking forward to that I've done some more reading I read uh, Les Expressions Francais uh, by I don't know Les, Les Editions Bonhomme de Chemin um, basically it's just a bunch of French expressions and what they mean so um, I don't know what we got here uh, ce n'est pas le meilleur bois um, which means it's not complicated or difficult to do. Uh, it literally means it's not drinking the sea. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good, probably like a 3.5 out of 5. I finished reading Superior by Angela Saini. Um, so that was, yeah, that was probably a 4, maybe a 4.5 out of 5. She's a cracking writer. And now I'm reading Geek Nation, How Indian Science is Taking Over the World, also by Angela Saini. Again, very good book. It's just all about Indian science, really. So, um... Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, if you want to see a vlog, like a mini vlog of my run, by the way, I'll link to it below, but I did one for TikTok and Instagram. I guess I'll link you to the Instagram version because I want people to follow me there on Dana's Running. Uh, and in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.